and welcome. This guided visualization is going to be all about releasing any baggage that you hold on to when you're trying to be in a loving relationship. And Lord knows we all have some of that if we have any kind of past whatsoever. Hello, I'm Carol Deshane, your intuitive spiritual guide for practical matters and certified narconics energy recalibration practitioner. Thank you for joining me. If you have problems with love, things that are holding you back from either finding someone or keeping someone, or even just having a wonderful time with someone, having that love and allowing yourself to have it. The fears come up like they do for most of us, maybe feeling like you're not good enough, any of those things. That's what you can work on today. So let's get right to it. So get comfortable, close your eyes, and just breathe. Take one breath, allowing yourself to just be fully present right now, knowing that this is something that you can come back to any time you need to have another chance to release something that you're holding on to that you don't really need. Second breath, deeply pull it in. Allow yourself to know that you can have whatever you want in your life. And a third breath, just feeling focused, allowing yourself in this time to release whatever it is that is no longer serving you. And one more breath, letting it go and feeling it all the way to your toes. And now I'd like you to picture Picture a place that is someplace sacred to you. If you have in your travels perhaps seen a, a temple, or perhaps you've been on a mountaintop if you've gone walking or hiking, or maybe it's your backyard where you have a garden and you have perhaps a fountain or something, or perhaps you don't have somewhere like that and it's just in your imagination. And that is totally all right. I've had one like that for years that I go to when I don't have a specific place I've already visited that fits the bill. For me, running water has always been helpful to relax and to feel calm and safe and at peace. Wherever you are, you're on your own, you're safe. And there's even a giant bubble around the area so that you can see that no one and nothing that you are concerned about coming towards you can get close to you. Just know that this is a place that you can always feel safe and feel at peace in. And now I want you to pull up a big mirror that you can look at, a full length mirror that's standing in front of you. And I know some of us don't like looking at that, but honestly, you're not going to be looking at your body and your face as much as you're going to be looking for the fears, for the limiting beliefs that are holding you back. Because we're going to do a little exercise in this visualization that may help you to release some of those things that you've been holding on to forever, and some of which you may not even know you have. So as you see the mirror, and you see the energy of who you are in that mirror. Be aware, what is it that holds you back from your love with a person that you want? If you want the love of your life or you have someone in your life already and you're going, what is the matter with this person? What's the matter with me? Why can't we be in a relationship that works for me? That's not just working, but it's it's fun. It's filled with joy and partnership and great sex. Yes, indeed, I'll say it. All those things, if you want them, whatever you want that you want in this loving relationship that you can have, whatever's holding you back, start seeing that energy in the mirror. Is there a, I don't deserve it? Is there an, I'm not good enough? And directly below the mirror, Leaning against it, it's a piece of luggage 
Yes, that's what I said. A piece of luggage for your baggage that you're carrying with you. So whatever size it may be, if you think you only need a small piece, a little hand walking carry on, or whether you think you need a giant trunk, whatever it may be, watch the lid open. And if there's a feeling that comes up into that mirror that you see, watch it after it fully forms, drop into that luggage. So if there is a piece of you that feels like you don't deserve love, you don't deserve that happiness, and you see it growing in a big, maybe black or purple or blue or whatever color it may be, a big dark shadow in the mirror that's just fully engulfing who you think you are, that you don't deserve it. Watch it dissolve and just fall into the trunk. Watch it disintegrate as it falls so that you may see a giant thick thing because you can't seem to disintegrate it, but whatever you do, allow it to fall in there. The trunk lid is still open, but imagine that whatever falls in can't come back out again, simply in the trunk. And maybe the next thing that you see that's holding you back from having love in your life is just fear of maybe you've never seen a good relationship before. Maybe that's something that you see. So you don't know how to really act in a relationship, to have one that lasts forever. So maybe that's what you see. You see a fear of the future, of, of not knowing how to, how to do it. Fear of success, because what if you can't be? Or maybe there's fear of failure. Whatever that second fear is or belief that you're carrying, watch that fully form. And try and do one at a time. And if you're faster than me, by all means, let each one fall into the trunk as you fully release as much as you can. If you haven't done it yet, release that second thing into the trunk. Whether it looks like a big, heavy thing or whether it disintegrates as it falls, make sure all of it goes in there because you don't need anything back, anything left over. And we're going to do one more. So whatever else you feel is holding you back. If there's a lot of stuff, maybe you just see a big glob of stuff that's just pouring out of you and, and coming up into so that fills the entire mirror. Or maybe you just have a couple of small things that you know you've been kind of glitching over where it's kind of stopping you from your good. Maybe you can't share because you don't know how. Maybe you feel less or maybe you need to give yourself totally away because it's the only way you think someone will accept you. Whatever they are, let them go into the trunk. Let them fully form that energy, that feeling, that, that fear, and let it fall into the trunk. I keep saying trunk, but it might be a little tiny piece of luggage. And then one that happens for a lot of women at least, so whoever you are, if you indeed start changing who you are to be accepted by another person, especially at the beginning, if you aren't truthful to yourself because you want to, them to like you, you want them to fall in love with you, watch that grow because it just means you don't feel like you're enough as you are and you are enough. So watch all of that fear and all of that stuff fall into the trunk, every single bit that you possibly can release. Let it all go. And indeed, your piece of luggage may have grown and grown and gotten bigger, or perhaps you have a bottomless one like Mary Poppins does as a carpet bag. But however you do it, it's right. It's for you. It's your way. And now, as you release the last little bit for now, watch the luggage close and zip up or lock down or whatever your luggage does. Put a little lock on it, make sure it can't get out again so you can't have it back. And then watch a hook descend from above. Or perhaps you prefer to have an angel come down and pick up the piece of luggage. But however and whoever you call on to release this piece of baggage out of your life that's holding you back from having a loving relationship, Watch it happen. Watch them come and take this away because they're going to transmute this energy. So it won't be falling on anybody else. 
It won't be stuffed into the back of a warehouse. It will transmute and become something much more beautiful and whole and perfect, if there is such a thing as perfect. And it will create for you the space that you have left, which we want to fill with something so that fear can't run back in again. So however expansive you may be feeling now, let the mirror and the luggage should be gone. The mirror should be winking out of existence now. And there should just be you feeling in your body. And that peace, or whatever feeling you're feeling now, that the fear is gone. We're going to fill with a couple of other things. Because we don't want to leave a void. And the first thing I want you to say to yourself, or say out loud, but say it three times is I am enough. I am enough. I am more than enough to have love in my life. I am more than enough for someone to love me the way I am. I am enough. Let that land with you. Feel that feeling. And the second thing that I want you to fill this up with is I deserve a loving and fabulously wonderful relationship. I deserve to have this relationship. I deserve to have a beautiful, loving relationship even better than I've ever dreamed before. I deserve it. And see how that lands. How does it land with you? Does it land awkwardly? Then that might be another fear to release the next time you do this. If it lands so that you can just smile and go, oh yeah, this feels good. Then you're in a good spot right now. And the last one that I want you to accept and fill up that void with, if there's any room left, is simply, I am love. I am enough all by myself. I am love. I am love. I don't need more from anyone else. I already am love. Because if you are that loving feeling already, you're going to attract others just to that feeling that you are, the feeling that you have become. You'll attract people who understand what that love is and want, they probably will already have that for themselves as well. Having needy people is very, very draining and makes you give more than perhaps you're comfortable with because you just get so exhausted. And so if you can feel, I am love, you can become that loving feeling and you will be enough and you will know that you deserve love. So now that you filled up that void, perhaps that was there, Breathe into this feeling and know that you are indeed enough. You are beautiful and capable of having a loving relationship. And you deserve to attract the person to you that can be there for you, that you can trust, that will hold your heart carefully and will also be there to give his love to you, to be truthful, have integrity, Anything else that you want, of course, loyal, trustworthy, if that's what you're looking for, which I think most of us are, but just breathe. And as you come back into the present reality, just know that no matter what your outer world looks like, that it can shift and change easily. You don't need to work so hard at making something work. You can know that your love, that you deserve it, and if that person you're with, if you are with someone who doesn't treat you properly, they may fall away. Or then again, they may start stepping up, especially if you know you deserve more. So breathe into that. Find that joy. Love yourself and be that love yourself. And one final breath so that you can open your eyes and feel alert and joyous and feeling like you deserve to have all the love in the world.
that you are more than enough and you don't need to change yourself to attract the person that is who you want in your life. Whether you have someone now or not, you can have the person and the loving and the perfect one for you that brings out the best in you and who you bring out the best in. You can come back to this guided visualization anytime you like, especially if you start feeling more fear or more worry or other limiting beliefs come up or perhaps another layer of what you've been working on in this guided visualization. Take that moment. Find that love for yourself and that joy and know you deserve the best in every situation. I truly believe that. And I hope that you believe that for yourself. Thank you for joining me. Again, I'm Carol DeShane. And if you'd like to hear more videos, by all means, subscribe to my YouTube channel and maybe even click on the bell notification. And if you'd like to know more about me or the kind of work that I do, you can check out my website at connecttojoy.com. Connect the number two joy, and it will be below the web below the video. I'm sorry. There you'll find information on Marconics, multidimensional energy for the ascension, as well as energy space clearings for your home or your business, and life coaching packages that are anything from being true to yourself finding your authentic self in the true you package, which it does include also Marconics and energy space clearings, or the rich in every way, or indeed, perhaps you're just interested in finding, changing your money karma. All of that is there. So thank you again for joining me. Until next time, blessings.